Stasis 23 here, and today we're going to be looking at some Ramiti knives. If you've uh, watched the channel before, you've probably seen my review of the Ramiti handheld knife and how much I enjoyed this one, especially for the price tag. If you hadn't seen that review, go check it out. Really nice budget end knife, and it was my first offering from Ramiti, and uh, they left a good taste in my mouth here. Then they sent me this more lightweight version of the Ramiti Peacock. Once again, very impressed. Uh, the quality meets the price and um, it made me wanting to see more from them. So they sent me one of the premium models. So we're gonna be taking a look at this new one. This is the WD-07 button lock. I will have links to all three of them down in the description if you're interested in picking one up. I, I was talking with the owner of Ramiti and he said he wanted me to let y'all know that uh, there was some issues with uh, some of the first batch of button locks with not having uh, good strength in the lock. So they did increase the spring thickness diameter um, to make it a more robust knife. And uh, it shows because this one is rock solid. Get some quick specs out of the way. You have a total length of 7.92 inches. So it's a medium to larger knife. Blade length of 3.43 inches. And a grip area, if you, if you go from here to here, it's only 3.48 inches. But if you use like a pistol grip on the choke up from here to the back, it's at 3.99 inches with a 0.12 inch blade stock and nice and thin behind the edge at 11 thousandths. Very, very nicely done there. These are a premium knife, so they have somewhat of a premium price tag coming in at $189. And be looking out on the in the description. I'm trying to get y'all a discount code for the knife. Um, let's take a closer look at this. You have a completely sterile drop point blade. Um, very nice. It, it it has that custom look to it. And the blade steel is Bowler M390. And as you can see, hopefully in there, that's where they put it. Very nice. I like when they you know try to keep it as clean as possible. You have a nice fine point for doing piercing tasks uh, or doing some detailed drag cuts. You have a interesting looking finish on here. They call it their pearlescent finish, kind of like Civivi does. Um, it looks like a vapor blast or something. It's very, very smooth. Uh, it is a fingerprint magnet, but I, I do like the way it looks on the knife. And... You have dual thumb studs. They are a little larger, but they are larger to clear this uh, portion. We'll talk about them later. You do have a small row of medium traction jimping. <clears throat> Could have been a little bit longer and maybe a little bit grippier. It is rounded over on the top right there, and it's not that deep. Do you have a well-executed sharpening trowel that should give you a good bit of sharpening life before it starts to widen up in the back? Nicely done. And with that thin grind, I'm very interested to see how well this thing performs. Let's find out. Man, all three knives that I've gotten from Ramiti so far have been incredibly, incredibly sharp. This new one is off the chart sharp. It's sharper than both of the previous ones that I've tested, and it is just slicing so effortless. Uh, it also has something to do with it being nice and thin behind the edge. It's always, always nice to see that, especially when you're using a super steel. You want them to be able to perform, and this one feels like it's going to perform very, very nicely. Um, decently comfortable so far hopefully it remains that way but yeah can't wait to see how it does on the rest now we're gonna test the ergos on this piece of birch and also see how well that edge feels look I mean it's basically just making ribbons out of this uh, piece of birch nice and comfortable i will say the ergos are a little just awkward um the way the handle shaped right now i'm choked up there's a little forward portion on the, the scale that you know most people should be able to do like a tri trigger finger choke up on and i didn't notice any major hot spots when uh doing this it was it was comfortable for the most part whenever i increased pressure uh, it was pretty good and uh yeah it was wanting to bite really deep really fast into the wood so definitely nice uh whenever you have a nice sharp knife 
Here I'm just putting as much pressure as I can just to see if there's anything that I feel in the handle. But nope, it was all good. So we have a beautiful drop point blade with a low tip that's in line with the pivot. It's going to be great for doing uh, cuts on a flat cutting surface and not to mention it's very very sharp in front of that tip. Uh, slicing very well in the pinch grip it's nice and comfortable and I just want you to see how fast it's going through this material. Always puts a smile on my face whenever the knife has good aggression to that edge and it just glides through. Um, I think that finish, that blade finish they have on there, their pearlescent finish whatever it, it helps out as well because it doesn't cause any drag in any of the material. It's very, very smooth, almost slick-like. Um, so, I like it so far. Now we move to the half-inch twisted sisile rope and right off the jump, it's got a lot, a lot of bite to that edge. I'm uh, using minimal force to push down into this rope, which is always a blessing for me because if not, I get blisters all over my hands whenever either it's dull or it's got a super thick edge. Uh, definitely making short work of this. And once again, that drop point is making my, my life a lot easier um, on a flat cutting surface. <coughs> um, it, it was very, very sharp. And I, I ended up cutting a little bit more than I normally do. I had a spare piece of sisal rope uh, right next to me so I ended up cutting that as well because it was just doing so well um, we end up making 62 cuts <laughs> um, and there's no doubt about it I could have done more it, it still was popping the rope the same at the end in my opinion and of course we will test that edge after all this is done just to see where it's sitting but I'm definitely definitely happy I have to say that it came stupid sharp and it felt super sharp all the way to the end. Let's see how this edge is. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Love that. I was hitting the uh, sharpening coil. All right, we're going to take a look at the deployment and the action of the knife. It's riding on ceramic ball bearings. It is a button lock. Like I said, you have uh, dual thumb studs. They have some texture up here on the top. And they are sitting a little bit low, so you do have to come all the way down right here. But it does rock it out. Nice drop on the closure as well. You can reverse flick it if you like. Um, and you can also slow roll it. So well-tuned detent. All right, let's close up and take a look at the handle area. You have uh, Torx T8 for the pivot, Torx T6 for the body screws and clip. I would have loved to see them all T8, but uh, whatever. Um, you have a titanium bolster with some a bunch of milling. I mean, you can see all the little facets. You have a, mi a facet here, a facet here, and then you have this right here, which I, it looks like this may be like their signature type thing because I saw it on their new model that they have coming out. Uh, the pivot does sit a little proud of the scales because they have a somewhat of a contour on them. And I like how they use a different, rather than your circle button lock, I like how they use that. It almost looks like a switch where you can slide it forward. has nice texture on it and has a recess uh, spot right here. So you do have to depress it all the way for added safety. Um, the fitment of the two materials is done nicely, no gaps. You have a shred carbon fiber that I haven't found any voids yet. You have a very faint, uh, fine milling pattern on there. Does give it an, a little bit extra uh, traction. You have this milled line right here in the middle. You definitely have a lot going on there. Um, as far as ergos go, they were pretty darn good. For your medium sized hands, it should fit nicely if you want to choke back right here. And like I was talking about in the cutting, this little spot right here, you can do like a little trigger grip right there. Uh, if you have large fingers, you probably won't be able to fit on that uh, portion. So this might not be the knife for you. You have a large lanyard hole for all the lanyard people out there. You have a titanium backspacer that comes up about a quarter of the way. You have a uh, 3D mill titanium pocket clip that is tip up right hand carry only. Let's check it out in the pocket. You have a decent bit of lip. It's it, it was fine for my jeans and for my uh, shorts. That's how much you have sticking out. Not bad at all. 
and it, it kind of curves to this side of the pocket. There is no internal milling, however, there's a lot of milled out titanium for the carbon fiber, which is a light material. Let's see what it weighs. All right, coming in at 3.47 ounces. Excellent. All right, let's take a look at this lockup. All right, <laughs> I think I scared everybody in my house, but definitely solid lockup. No play at all, like none left to right, none up and down, super solid for me at least. Um, like I said, you do have a recessed spot to uh, push this button down. It has to go past that, that uh, little recess area before it releases the blade. The centering on the knife is perfection. Quick size comparison with the Ontario Rat Model 1 and 2. Hogue Ritter RSK and Mini RSK. Last, we have the Civivi Brazen and the Spyderco PM2. It's almost identical to the Brazen in overall length. Nitpicks and plaints, I don't have much. Uh, maybe a stone watch finish, but I get it uh, with the, you know, this aesthetic right here. I think it looks nicer. Just a fingerprint magnet. Um, and maybe for ergos, give, you know, more room right here for a, you know, a complete forward finger choil because all the way back here, you're a good bit away from that edge and it's going to exclude, you know, your large, extra large hands and also been nice to be tipped for left-handed carries so you don't exclude that part of the market. Overall though, my thoughts on the knife, yeah, it's definitely one I could re recommend. It performed outstanding. I think it looks really, really attractive. It's nice and smooth, nice and snappy, a good solid button lock on this one. Um, and I was looking, trying to find other button locks in M390 for you know this price and there wasn't any on blade hq at least they i was filtering looking at that so i definitely think it's priced well um especially if i can get y'all a dis discount code that would be awesome um hopefully he'll respond to me before i you know release this video if not i will do my best <laughs> to add it whenever if i get one so there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.